Hello everyone, thanks for joining Photo G.I. Joe Hero uh, opening and review of action figures. Today I have a little bit different uh, setup. We're going to be opening uh, this shift from the Dollar General uh, Final Faction series. Um, it also, I picked up at the same time two sets of of weapons so we'll open those at the same time uh, so this one I found I've seen a lot of people that have have picked her up um, I thought she looked pretty good so I I also wanted to pick her up and you know a dollar for an action figure especially a female that has some uh, custom ability or custom um, possibilities I should say um, as well as some other uh, weapons and some other things that might come in handy uh, that seemed like a good deal so this is for Alpha Team 1 a uh, couple things on her box we have um, has the age 3 plus that's good I guess um, I have to watch the cartoon I haven't had a chance to do that but there's you can scan to watch the cartoon there's some other figures uh, I didn't find those to be particularly interesting maybe some of the villains um, looked kind of good but uh, the others just didn't hold very much interest to me um, but some stats that's that's kind of cool for a dollar figure uh, the box itself isn't in real it, it's a little flimsy but not too bad artwork is a little late 80s early 90s ish but not too bad as well could be worse um this is a specialist shift though so let's open her up small box i i do actually like that they have a small box i don't think that this one would be one that I would display, but um, definitely can always use a smaller waist uh, from figures. But uh, so this is shift. There's not a whole lot of articulation on her. Her legs go forward and back. Her arms up and down, and her head turns a little. Uh, where her hair. Kind of needs her to look in one direction. Um, the the details are actually not too bad. Uh, the paint uh, could use some work. I I plan to customize one, um, and then maybe use the parts for another thing. The head's pretty good, I think. Hair is okay, but the head looks pretty good. Um, when I first picked it up, I thought that legs would actually do a little bit more than just go up and down but i guess not um <clears throat> then you, it, she also comes with a set of swords with handles i'm not sure what that's all about but um <clears throat> not much to her uh, the paint that she did get it it's not too detailed um but, you know, it's a dollar figure. What do you expect from a dollar figure? But she's okay. Hands are a little wide for the weapons, I would imagine. So that's, that's shift. And then let's move to uh, some of these sets. Uh, this one for the Alpha Team Heavy, heavy, heavy Arms Weapons Pack. Uh, has some description on the back. Skyflower, Rabbit Wolf, Angry Ape, the Railgun, and the Tattooist. A little description on those. That's kind of interesting. There's some more story behind what's going on there. And again, the QR code for the, the cartoon. Uh, not too much to say about the box, I guess. It, it is what it is. It's a weapons pack. Don't expect a whole lot of artwork on a weapons pack. 
Oh, I hate it when that happens when you, the box just does not want to come off. Open this up. Okay. Comes with three, four, five different weapons. Slide those out of the way. This is the, the rail gun. A little bit small for the figure, maybe not. Uh, these projectile weapons, and this comes out. All solid gray or solid dark greenish brown. Um, this one looks very similar, but it doesn't have anything that comes out. Um, some other just random machine guns. So we have the Sky Flower. The Rabid Wolf is this one, assault, assault rifle. I hate the term assault rifle, but that's for another day. Um, this one is the Grenade Launcher. The uh, Angry Ape. Not sure why that's what that means, but that's also a grenade launcher. Oh, maybe I have that wrong. Uh, that I think is the tattooist. And then this is the rail gun. Yep. Okay. Uh, interesting guns. Detail is there. Just no paint on any of those. The fact that this one comes apart, it's not too bad. I have a feeling it doesn't fit real well on their arms. They never seem to. I guess that one's kind of okay. Might work better in one of the male figures' hands. Okay, then we'll move to this one, the Covert Ops set. It has the Owl Eyes, Phoenix Pack, SPRG, Dawn and Dusk, Lion Fang, Stratus Board, and Dragon Drone. Okay, again, not much to the box, but shouldn't expect too much from Dollar Store Weapons Pack. Okay. Start with the big knife. Hopefully it fits. Blade's a little extended. Um, I believe this these go together. Don't know. There's not really any instructions to it. So who knows? Don't really see a way for it to go together. Some instructions would have been nice. But I guess it is what it is. Um, we have this. A grappling hook is, I think, what it is. SPRG. Don't know what it goes to. Maybe this. Oh, there we go. So that's the grappling hook. Just a, a regular big pistol. And another one, it's a different color. And then a helmet with night vision. And I guess this is some kind of a backpack. I don't know um, if they would fit on her. She does have back hole. Doesn't seem to want to fit there. So This might fit, but her hair's in the way, so it's probably gonna, that might fit a, one of the male figures. Anyway, so that's the set that we, that I picked up. Um, not much to it. 
not great pickup, but it's, you know, it's for a dollar. So $3 right there, lots of stuff, lots to work with. So we'll see what it can do with it. All right, thanks for joining and we'll see you next time.